Alright, uh, well we're back, uh, on patch 1.2.1, uh, completely different speedrun strategy. Uh, started this one off with the, uh, Twin Axes, uh, Twin Axes still with the death of a thousand cuts, um, that being the key part of this, uh, this build. Uh, there is a weapon, when I was looking through some of the weapons and what they said, I was trying a few different things out. I tried, uh, the Tornado Axe, um, where when you, um, when you surge, uh, you shoot the, the mobs up into the air and deal, like, massive damage. I was hoping that that would maybe work on the, um, on the, uh, bosses. However, that uh, didn't pan out, so didn't quite work, kind of how the uh, trolls currently a little bit bugged. Um, but, um, yeah, so I, I tried that to start with, but then I was looking through some of the uh, the other weapons and I found the uh, a twin axe perk that I thought was interesting, or sounded interesting, where it deals... Uh, Frost damage based off of, um, it just does 10 frost damage per hit, but then is increased, uh, by, I think it's increased by 10, or increased by a certain percentage, uh, based off your unique cards, and then it also is, um, additionally... Uh, empowered every time you defeat a boss. So it increases by 100%, the 10 by 100% every card suit you've got. So you've got five different card suits giving you an increase of like do, dealing 50 damage is my understanding. And then that increases again based off of um... Uh, based off of um, uh, when you kill a boss, you get stronger. So more or less you want to have one of every card suit. So I sit here and I try and just grab anything that's got the card suit that I want. And so in this case, fire. I need a fire. I've got an ice already. Uh, technically, I think I've already got a, um, a normal. I'm pretty sure your starting armor counts as a normal, um, normal, rare, not rarity, but, uh, what would be, card suit? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, either way, I quickly just chuck both of them on, because I'm like, okay, that, that'll, that'll count. I'm not sure why I grabbed that one, but having the, um, the gold cards use. Um, and then I see that there's a, so knowing I've got two of the suits already, I quickly uh, decide instead to go try and grab a card that will potentially give me, um, give me the soul, the soul fragment I guess I mean, not soul fragment, but the, um, yeah the soul, uh, card slot um, and seeing as it was uh, one that was going to be worth three mana I quickly fly over to here where it's a mana chest because I could see it was a mana chest and being a um, an orange it's definitely going to give three mana so that means I could 100% uh, have uh, all the card suits that I needed at the very start so by the looks of that um, it was dealing 39 damage, whereas before I played the uh, critical uh, damage uh, card, it was doing 26. So it's most likely that it doesn't count the uh, original armor that I had on. We'll see if this is more than 39. Uh, yeah, definitely doesn't count. So it's doing 52 damage per hit. 
at the moment. But the uh, the the padding thing that I've got gives a hundred percent crit when you're healing for one, which is really really good. I quickly check here if I've got any sky suits. So I just put it on because it will deal the increased damage just by itself. So you don't really need to worry about uh, uh, about what's happening with it. So again, this is the second time I've ran this, so there's definitely room for improvement. And with um perfect RNG, this you could I reckon easily get under 13 minutes on a speed run. Like if you got the cut the the weapon quickly. If you got really good uh, synergies with, between your cards, like thinking about it, this armor is actually probably one of the best choices of armor because when healing, you definitely deal a crit. So essentially, if you've got gray health, your next hit is gonna deal a critical hit, which is great considering how often you use gray health in order to um heal yourself um so here i quickly need to grab a card because i needed one more of the um one well, that's not what you're supposed to do but um you need i needed one more of the uh uh card suits so that basically sets me up now for well, success i guess Yeah, so now I just need to find a um a relic slot, or I get a relic slot, I guess. But you'll see, uh, yeah, the critical hit changes do make a big difference on these um weapons that do on hit damage, and the twin axes. I loved them when I very first started playing the game. I had the most success with those versus anything else because of the um because of its ability to uh to hit quickly and in between the other mobs attacks but that was before I'd learnt how to well dodge or before I learnt how to um block as you can see there I get uh, a little bit screwed over by the um by knocking my head on a tree. So again, there's definitely room for improvement as far as um as far as uh, cards, not cards, as far as our uh, movement goes. And again, RNG would make a huge difference as well. Here, I'm trying to get myself to be able to fly, and it's just not working for me. And there I try to make sure I don't donk my head on something else and slow my character right down. As it is, I do a pretty average job of uh, flying myself about. But yeah, this, this build actually, it ramps up a lot better than what the mana sword and the, um, and the fire sword have done. I think there's maybe potential for another one that does a similar thing, being the, um, is it called the stone sentinel? No. It's one of the hammers where it deals increased damage uh, the more bosses that you obliterate. So it's got a good chance of um, increasing its damage. I just think that these on hit ones are, um, going to be superior for the simple fact that twin axes just have such good attack speed like the the core part of why it's so strong is it's it's attack speed on anything uh, so I picked the different um, places somewhat strategically like uh, you're gonna hit 
I got lucky with the sky card uh, in uh, the dust zone, but the dust zone typically you're going to see uh, Tufta, humans, uh, skeletons. You'll see Haxa as well, so you potentially could do a good job of um, grabbing them there as well. Um, I then got lucky and picked up um, a multi-strike. So I trade out my other sky card for that instead. But yeah, you you've got most of the card suits relatively easily available in that one zone, and then the one that's the hardest is typically the holder to um to find, which you can find in the um in the dust zone. As well as if you start in the Dust Warden, then you're guaranteed to get two attempts at a card that you could use. Um, so realistically, you've hit four out of five of the uh, card suits without even trying uh, at the very start. And then you can see the sort of damage that it deals. Like, if you get your multiple critical strike, uh, multiple multi-strikes... On the 400 and whatever damage it is, plus the critical hits on, uh, in particular with the armor. Again, I won't understate, uh, how much this armor actually made a huge difference. It's armor I've not used often, and I hadn't considered that to being the, uh, the core part of this build until I'm re-watching it now and, uh, seeing how many critical hits that actually get hit. Uh, it used to be armor that I would uh, not use just about at all. I think it's the, called the Rumors Padding. But yeah, when I at this point I'm like, oh gosh, the uh, unsub 15 is possible because uh, the 1436 that I end up doing this in is actually better than what we've done in any patch so far. I think. I think pixels are. Uh, Best run on patch 1.1 1 .1 was 1440, and my best one was like 1444 or 1445. It was a few seconds behind. But, yeah, with the card nerfs, I wasn't sure that uh, a time like this would be possible. But I suppose you just gotta pick a different card. So obviously there's no need to play that card, um, and I just fail miserably at trying to get on that quickly. But yeah, I think in a perfect world you've got a multi-strike or a, um, or a potency from the sky cards, um, this soul armor is probably the best soul card you could pick up. As for your normal card, uh, critical chance could be good. Critical uh, damage has been a good choice as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure what else the normal cards could offer. There's magic potency as well in those ones. As for your fire cards, uh, what have I got? I've got focus gain, which is pretty good. Um, so that's pretty useful. Uh, I'm not sure what might be better than that in this situation. Because being able to build up your focus quickly is good. And then uh, the additional health from... Um, the earth cards is just helpful because you don't worry about your health as much. But yeah, that's that's that. That last bit was crazy. Like, you get hit and then you just crit, 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 crit. That's, yeah, that's something else. But yeah, that's your uh, 14, uh, 36, your sub 15 with, yeah, very, 
good run. It's we'll see what happens. We'll see what Pixel can come up with with this additional knowledge of how to uh, of a different build path. Yeah. As always, like, comment, subscribe, or don't. Don't watch. Not your mum. You figure it out for yourself. Oh, thank you.